camera here. Oh, hey. Hi. Vegan nachos. They're vegan nachos, but again, like the crunch wrap video, we're using Greek yogurt, so it's technically vegetarian nachos. We're gonna do a homemade salsa first. Why are you so weird? Nacho, nacho. It's a good thing that I did a little bit of research prior to this because we all know salsa, 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 <laughs> salsa is made with tomatoes. I didn't realize that you had to like s scoop them. See how they're <laughs> empty? I pre-did all the tomatoes because I just I wanted to save some time. I did it with the jalapeno as well. I took out the insides and the seeds because that's what makes it spicy. So we take it out. Uh, and I only did one jalapeno because we're gonna add we'll add more if it's not spicy enough. But we don't want to go too spicy. I've got eight tomatoes halved and scooped using this Beyond Meat ground beef for the nachos. We're gonna be cooking that up. We've got an onion and some fresh garlic. I have pre-minced garlic, but I just feel like fresh is always the way to go. So Always! Always. That's another reason why I got actual fresh tomatoes because most of the recipes said that you could just use canned tomatoes, but we don't like canned tomatoes, do we? Oh three cloves of garlic and one whole onion. I'm gonna go ahead and have all of it because we're gonna put it on the stove top and grill it while we're cooking our Beyond Meat. <laughs> husband to cook some of it. Fucking serious, bro! We've roasted all of our veggies, all of the tomatoes, the onions, the jalapeno, and saute them. Garlic. We did, we sauteed them. We did not roast them. Next ingredient, cilantro. Ew, that's dirt. Ew, we need to clean this. Just wash it and do this. Stop! You're getting it everywhere! This is hot. Cold water. Was that way wilting? Yes! Oh. No! Don't chop it! Get out of here. Get out of here then. You don't this want to. my kitchen. This is my kitchen. Get out. Man, your kitchen. Your kitchen. I quit, man. Please I do. Quit. You're fired! You don't even get to quit. You're fired! And I don't have a food processor, but I do have a blender. This is gonna take. A long time. I don't think it's meant to like blend all that kind of ingredients. It's not. It's really not meant for it at all. But here we are. It dice that shit up. Ah! We may need more tomatoes. I may have added too much onion. We'll just have to use a can of whole peeled tomato. <laughs> Let's try this again. Call it salsa. It's a tomato shake. Tomato. Ketchup. Just warm me. Open up. up. Let me do something. Mmm. Damn. Was this a trick? No, I really need Am that. Am I a gated done... camera? cilantro and jalapeno so we're gonna go ahead and chop the other jalapeno so here's my plan we've chopped up half of a uh, jalapeno no seeds no stems no nothing we're gonna pour some tomato juice some juicy juice we're gonna add more cilantro 
This just keeps looking weirder and weirder every time I add something to it. We did it. We made our own salsa. Wait, I need to try this. I haven't tried this one yet. That's pretty good. Can you not storm into my kitchen with like a thousand questions? My kitchen? My you don't kitchen. You even know what the fuck are you drinking? Old Florida gourmet tortilla chips. Lime flavored. And we've got Tostitos. We have our Beyond Beef Baby Kale. Chili sauce with garlic. Mozzarella Bio Life Shreds and Cheddar Bio Life Shreds. You're making a mess. Well, you ready? Get to building. Wait, oh, oh. Yeah, with those. nachos as they are are vegan this is the only reason it's not vegan because this is greek yogurt that i use as a substitute for sour cream you have to eat it with my salsa i need it am i the best wife ever or what who <laughs>